Hey guys, in this quick tutorial we're going to create a galaxy space effect with an airbrush. I've already got a 7 inch cake here pre-covered. Tutorials for this are linked in the iCard. I'm using water based chroma colours. Everything is linked in the description box below. Starting with your lighter colours such as blue, spray on random shaped blobs all around the cake. Make sure you go bright with the colours as they will be muted once we get the black on. Next, change the colour to purple. I have to admit the new recipe for purple isn't quite as good as the previous one, but you can always make your own with red and blue. Fill in some more of the white areas. Lastly, try out a hot pink or maybe even orange to fill in the remaining gaps. You can overlap colours too. See how spraying the pink into the blue creates a cool purple effect. Now to get the black on, I'm spraying all around the base where I'll be using black sugar paste for the board. Then you want to randomly separate some of the colours with areas or lines of black. There's no method to this, just leave some nice bright patches of colour. Now on screen it doesn't look very space like. It looks like a patchy colourful cake, but I can assure you to the eye it looks much different. I kept peeking at the screen whilst filming it and wondered why it looks so different. The colours gel more in real life. Now as an optional extra, you can add iridescent highlights. This one is a hint of green by Colour Splash. They also do a blue and red version. The dust won't go through the airbrush gun, so it needs watering down with lemon extract. Make sure it's nice and runny before tipping it into your gun. Now you won't see much happening on screen, but I promise it's there. As it's iridescent, it just looks like a white powder. Powder on white will give you a very subtle green highlight. I'm using the hint of green. Or on darker colours like black, it will be a much stronger sheen of green, especially when using it dry with a brush. Spray it on the black areas, and as it dries, you'll see the green highlight as it moves in the light. I've added some footage as it dried to the end of the video. Once you've finished with that, you'll want to flush some water through your airbrush gun to get rid of any dust. Finally, add some white snowdrift powder to a bowl and add water. I'm using lemon extract as I had it to hand, but water works just as well. Then grab yourself a cake decorating toothbrush. That's just a clean, new toothbrush used only for cake, not your teeth. Load up the brush and then you're going to flick the bristles with your thumb. Move the brush up and down the cake as you flick to create clusters of stars. And you're done. Your hands may or may not look like this when you're finished. Let the cake fully dry before decorating it further. Here it is still slightly wet. And as it was drying you can see the green highlights starting to show. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did, don't forget to check out all the other ones I've uploaded in 2018. Thanks guys, bye!